Hello and welcome to the wine room here at the Co-op. My name's Chayas and this evening we're raising a toast to 2017 and to our Co-op members who helped to shape our products and services. So this evening we're going to be tasting three of our fabulous alcoholic beverages. All of these have been shaped by our wonderful Co-op members. So if you'd like to taste along with us at home, there's three things that you'll need to grab from your kitchen. So first of all, we have our Co-op IPA here, which is an India Pale Ale. Next to that, we have our Co-op London Dry Gin, which is great to have with a little bit of tonic. And then at the end here, we have our Co-op Members' Choice Pioneer Pinot Grigio. Even if you're not tasting along with us at home, then you can still get involved. We are live, so if you have any comments or questions, then please do leave them below. We'll try to get to as many as we can throughout the live stream. And if you would like any more information about alcohol, you can visit drinkaware.co.uk. Okay, so let me introduce my first guest. Now, this is Jake, and we're going to be talking about the IPA. Good evening. Good evening. So Jake is one of our beer experts here at the co-op, and I'm very intrigued about this from the bottle onwards. So tell me a little bit about this IPA. It's a really fantastic story, actually. So we went out to many of our members, uh, asked them to try some new beers that we were thinking of trying. Uh, we actually got 400 applications within half an hour of sending it out and from there we've selected 100 from them and then what they've ended up with is tasting notes on the back of the bottle and really helped to shape it. They also went to the brewery, helped us there, really went round, looked at how it was bottled and yeah hopefully got a great experience out of it. Fantastic, so this is one of three um, beers and yeah. ales that the co-op has that's been shaped by the members which great. is fantastic. So what do you like to drink an IPA with? Uh, for me it's a perfect piece meal with a chicken pie so the floral flavours really accentuate the chicken and then that dry finish will cut straight through the creamy sauce. Oh lovely and is it great for any time of year? Is it a good all-rounder? Uh, it really is so summer it's lovely to relax in the garden but ultimately sitting by the fire on a winter night it's great to just relax and put your feet up oh fantastic well I'm really excited to try it so should we have a little try it's a beautiful color oh it's great if you hold it up then you should see a lovely amber color yeah it's gorgeous absolutely lovely and then what oh, you should get coming delicious. through lovely multi base and then a long dry finish at the end that is absolutely lovely how, how do you go about sort of figuring out which flavours are going to work best in a beer? Uh, well, IPA is massively on trend at the minute. I think craft has really driven that for us. Um, people are looking for something new, something different. And I think the five varieties of hops that we use in this really give consumers that. Yeah, we've actually had a comment through on social media from Kirsty, who says that her husband loves IPAs. They really are on trend, aren't they? They are. They're massive at the minute. Yeah, fantastic. Well, that's absolutely delicious. And the great thing is as well, if you want to learn more about this IPA, then you can visit the co-op blog. We have a great video on there from Sam, who's one of our co-op members, who actually went to the brewery and his tasting notes are on there yep. as well. It's fantastic. Thank Brilliant. you so much, Jake. It's been absolutely great to have a taste of that. Absolutely no delicious. Thank you very much. Next up, we're going to move on to our gin and we're welcoming Johnny, our next guest, who is a spirits expert here at the co-op. Good evening. Good evening. So, I am very intrigued about this. I mean, again, the label looks beautiful. Tell us a bit more about this gin and how our co-op members have helped to shape it. So, we've worked closely with one of our suppliers. Um, they have uh, Joanne Moore on board, who's the UK's only master female distiller. Um, what we did is, working closely with her, is we shortlisted three uh, sample liquids that we thought were worthy of the co-op a irresistible tag. Um, we then sent out miniatures of those uh, spirits to a selection of members, again filled up very quickly. The cult members are very sort of active people within, uh, within the membership community. Um, those samples were blind marked. We didn't give them any tasting notes, any sort of steer. We just asked them to describe what they were tasting with the gin and then select which one was their favourite and what they would garnish it with. Um, so the gin that is in the bottle is the one that the majority of our members preferred. Brilliant. And what kind of flavours do we have within this gin? So it's a classic London dry gin, so it will be very juniper-led, and that is what you will get first and foremost on the palate. Um, we finish that through with some citrus notes, so you get some lemon verbena coming in, and then also some spice as well. So we've got telecherry black peppers in there as one of the botanicals. They really are the creme de la creme of a, of a black peppercorn. 
So with that spice, is that a great one for this time of year, the festive season? Absolutely. It very much depends on how you serve it. You can have sort of a classic G and T, but I think when you're getting into the festive season, it pairs really well with ginger ale. The spices mm -hmm. in the gin really sort of hold up to uh, hold up to the spiciness of the ginger ale. Yeah, that sounds delicious. And we have it here with tonic, which is the classic. Absolutely, of yeah. So should we have a little taste? Yeah, absolutely. I'm very excited. So do you tend to give it? a little bit of a yeah when we're when we're tasting Ooh. samples yeah we will yeah. we will definitely be giving it a nose so you can obviously get some of the you can already some of the smell. juniper coming through yeah absolutely. absolutely and a bit of citrus floral notes and then and then there's a bit of spice at the back which will come through more on the palate absolutely beautiful so do you, you don't have to to swirl no, gin no, tonic, no, do you? no swirling with a tonic Excellent. no the tonic okay. will bring everything out let's have a little taste that is delicious Thank you very much. Absolutely beautiful. You can taste everything, sort of one after the other, everything you've mentioned. You can really taste it coming through. Yeah, absolutely. There's certainly some complexity there, which really means that the, the what you get on the nose does flow through on the uh, on the palate. Absolutely beautiful. Um, do you find that gins are having a real moment at the moment, aren't they? They're very popular. Absolutely. They've been in huge growth for the last few years, and there's really no sign of that slowing up, hence why we've developed this gin and, and would look to be developing more, I think, if you look in, in, in the supermarkets these days, as well as in industry independent retailers, there's just such a fantastic choice for customers out there and there's a real variety of gin, it's not just your standard London dry gins, there are so much more different flavours and tastes to experiment with. Fantastic and we've had a comment through from Jane on social media who says this is a very good gin, the co-op members really know their botanicals, do you think that's true? Absolutely, some of the comments and feedback that we got through really did pull out the, the individual flavours of each of the samples that we sent out to them and I think that is really does sort of highlight the popularity of gin at the moment is that customers and in particular the co-op members are so engaged with products that they're, they're re they really are experts in their own right in, uh, in forming this new product. Well, it's definitely paid off because it's absolutely delicious. Johnny, thank you so much. It's been great to learn more about the gin. Not a problem at all. Beautiful thank you. stuff. Cheers. Now, finally, we have something very extra special. Now, we're going to be talking about our Pinot Grigio that we have here. Now, this has been designed from start to finish by our co-op members, and we have Joe my guest and my next guest, my final guest here to tell us Hello. a little bit more. Uh, good evening, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Very good, thank you. I'm really intrigued about this because the story is quite fantastic and you've been there from the very beginning. That's right, so it's been like a good 12 month project. Obviously the wine itself is delicious and we'll try it shortly, but yeah, for me the story behind the wine, uh, everything from, uh, well all of the member engagement and for me really that is the, the kind of heart of, of this product. So it has been totally designed by members. What was the starting point for this wine? So we had kind of a vision and it was to give our members exactly what they wanted and what better way to do that than to ask them directly. So we kind of put that out there and very kind of heartwarming in that over 3,000 members uh, kind of joined in, got involved and they told us exactly what they wanted. Uh, everything right from the grape itself, so how the wine will end up on the shelf, through to the name of the wine, uh, the label design has been done by members, uh, and even the tasting notes on the back of the bottle uh, is, is member-led. Oh, fantastic stuff. And one of our members actually ended up going out to the vineyard yeah, in California yeah, yeah, with yeah, yourself yeah. and um, learnt more about the, the whole process. That was really good because, you know, uh, part of the to get involved, that there was a chance to win a trip to California, like a once in a lifetime, you get to visit the, the, the vineyards, the producer, O'Neill Vintners, uh, produces this wine for us. And yeah, we went out and uh, the lady, the ladies absolutely loved it. It was a really fantastic prize. Oh, fantastic. So we're going to have a little taste. Now, something I always wonder when it comes to wine tasting is, why do you do the swirl? It's a very good question. So let's debunk some myths. Okay. So if you give it a quick swirl. Yeah. All you're doing really is releasing the aromas out of the glass and if, if you pop your nose anywhere near the glass you'll hopefully... Ooh, it smells amazing. So with this particular wine, this is kind of is a classic New World Pinot Grigio, you, you hopefully get in very much citrus fruit, so that yeah. lime, that, that lemon peel and also green apple. Yes. Classic Pinot Grigio. Absolutely gorgeous and all these have been chosen by our co-op members. Yes. Absolutely everything. Okay, let's have a taste. I'm very excited about this one. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely so, lovely. Ah, I noticed you did something I didn't do. What was the, the swish around your yeah, mouth there? Yeah, so, I mean, the, I guess the, the easiest way to put it is if you treat it like mouthwash, mm -hmm. give it a little swish, you really kind of accentuate those flavours, uh, and hopefully you see that the fruit coming through, but what is really 
kind of poignant about this particular wine is, is that kind of acidity down, down the side of the palate mm. and a lovely kind of long-lasting fruit finish. We've had a great comment from um, Katie Kicker on uh, social media and she says that Pinot Grigio is her favourite. Excellent. Is it is it a really common favourite white wine? It's, uh, it's a nation favourite, it's actually a global favourite and oh. I think that really lends into the fact, uh, lends into the asking the members, what, what, what would you like? And they chose Pinot Grigio. I have one last question for you that's really intriguing me and it's about the bottle and the label itself. So why is there a bear on the bottle? <laughs> so we had over 400 label designs, but that was Photoshop, crayon drawings, pencils, everything. Uh, and the one we particularly liked uh, was a, a grizzly bear, which is on the state flag of California, where, ah. the, where the wine comes from. Perfect, fantastic. Well, it was absolutely delicious. Very, very pleased to have got to try that one. Thank you so much, Joe. You're very welcome. Absolutely excellent. I have enjoyed tr trying all of these absolutely beautiful selection here. And it just goes to show that the input that our members have is fantastic. They taste incredible. So thank you so much for joining us on this live stream. If you are already a member of our co one of our co-op members, then you can get involved with fantastic projects like this. You can log into your account and visit the Get Involved section where you can find out about all these exciting, fabulous opportunities. If you would like to sign up as a member, you can do so today for just a pound. And there's lots of other perks as well, like getting up to 5% back on selected co-op services and products, which is fabulous. So from me, it's time to say goodbye. Bye, but thank you for joining us once again and cheers the co-op way.